What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. Last time, we did a bit of adventuring kind of around the northern area of Zappapico. We managed to get to uh, basically the pass in order to head on over to the Glaciato Mountain. Uh, but instead, we kind of went to an underground route that reached to where uh, Medali was. In this episode, we are going to at least make an attempt at taking on the the Earth Titan again. Um, but oh, that's another Dino. Look at what Dino's shiny looks like. Anyway, uh, we're gonna kind of explore around here a little bit. Uh, mostly because looking at the map, there are a few new Pokemon that kind of have shown up on the map itself. Uh, we have ourselves, oh, an Umbreon too. Uh, but there was a different Pokemon here. There's also this thing. Uh, so let's maybe see if we can't try to find a couple extra Pokemon and get a little bit more training in uh, before we try to take on uh, Great Tusk. Uh, another Slandit. Nope, yeah, you're a regular Slandit. Wasn't sure if the purple was part of its regular aesthetic. It, it is, because it's a poison. Ah! Another Dino! Oh, that's a Sableye. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Sableyes are always kind of weird because they blend in super well with the dark areas with their purple bodies. Uh, let's see. I was gonna say, it's like, um... Am I just going to enter the void or what? Apparently not. Uh, okay, well, there's another trainer over here. Doug Trio. There's the Pokemon Center. And a TM. The Snow Slope Run. Okay. I mean, we technically don't need to face off any more trainers at Blitzy! Oh, well, I guess. Mirror's gonna get a lot of experience. Yeah, technically we don't really need to do a whole lot more training in this specific, excuse me, this specific area. Oh boy, that's a lot. We technically don't really need to face any more trainers, but if we basically find trainers with blitzies, oh boy. Drill Run! Ooh, very interesting. What's down here? Uh, lots of Snow Run, Doug Trio, there's a Medicham. Medicham and a Sableye that's stuck in the wall. You're free now! Not that that is really helpful for me. Okay, uh, for many cham, let's it's fighting psychic. Uh, let's have Ash. No, not the snow run. Snow run is not who I want to be facing off in this situation. I could at the very least add many cham to the Pokedex. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead. We'll use Rapid Spin first. Okay, so we are still faster. Cool. Okay. It is now has the same speed boost. Not that that's super helpful for it. And now it's down. Man, Phantom Force is so good. Okay. So that's 
another Pokemon added to the Pokedex. An Ice Stone. Ooh. Okay. So there's... Well, hmm. I'm trying to think what Pokemon evolved with the Ice Stone. And I can only think of Eeveon to Glaceon. And then... Alola Pokemon. I mean, maybe the Ice Stone is only used to get Glaceon? Uh, because I... It, not sure what other Pokemon would use an Ice Stone that would be available in this game. I'm also not seeing any of those new Pokemon that are being outlined. Uh, but you know what? A little bit of exploration isn't going to hurt, especially when there are more trainers. I'm not littering. Anyway, you have a Crabominable. Okay. Um, let's see. Ice fighting. Not really the best. And Crabominable is really slow, as I learned from Kofu. Uh, I wasn't quite sure, because I don't really <laughs> face off against Crabominable that often. Uh, we'll use Phantom Force. That's bad. Mm, not quite. Oh! Okay, well that did not work as well as intended. Um, let's send out Mirror. Then use a Force Palm. Okay, so that what did not work as well as I would have liked. At the very least, it's also good to get a little bit more money, which is always a good thing. Okay, heal up Ash. Perfect. Okay, now can we find any different Pokemon? Ether. This just leads up to the actual mountainside. Glaciato Mountain, yeah. And the first Pokemon would have been a low kicks. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Litleo and Pyroar. A lot of low kicks. Axew, Vigoroth. Do I want to keep battling trainers? Um, I'm mostly here for the Pokemon. Got Mudsbray, got Mudsdale. Ghastly and Haunter. I'm basically kind of out where the root area was. Fire Spin. Uh, let's see. Elixir, Grievered, Max Potion. Also nice. Yeah, like, I'm not exactly seeing any brand new Pokemon. They were on the map. Then again, just because the Pokemon shows up on the map doesn't mean that they are actually there. Learned that quite a bit. Dawnstone. Hmm. Fire Terra Shards. Okay. Snom, Bampy. The Ostrich thing. You're level 45. That's a lot of Pyroar. Okay. We have any any new Pokemon besides many Cham and Pyroar. Pyroar isn't new. We've seen it before. There's a regular one of these guys. 37 if I really wanted to. Um 
see here is fake tears. Looks like another TM too. Low sweep. Ah, it's Grievert. Huh, there's a haunch crow back there. And then what's in the raid den? Raid den has flying type Shellos. Hmm. I am tempted to just try to do some raid dens, just so that way I can get some Terra Shards. I'm not entirely sure of any other good ways to really get Terra Shards. And yeah, just kind of exploring around, like, not seeing anything too great. Yeah, just the same Pokemon as the route on the way up. Hmm. Maybe I should just... Well, hold on. So I'm just in the general route here. There's apparently a Flareon. Fortunately, there's not really any Pokemon Center until I get on over to Glossiato. And it's gone. Huh. Wait, where is that? Oh, it's a Magneton! Um, let's go ahead. We'll switch on over to Mirror. And sure, we'll fight us a Magneton. That's at least something that's new. I suppose that's about the best that we're gonna hope for here. Not quite taking it out, though. Okay, uh, well, you know what? Let's not risk it. So that should give us a good amount of experience. Last little hoorah before taking on Great Tusk again. Not quite enough for a level up though. Hmm. Yeah, the weird thing is like it says there's a flurry on. Yeah, minor discoloration compared to the other ones makes me go, shiny? Eh, no shiny. Okay, I believe the route to actually continue onward is over this direction. Oh, a Bronzong! Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll use Force Palm. Unfortunately. Ugh, Steel Psychic. Not exactly the greatest of combinations. Uh, we'll use Knock Off, though. There we go. One more of that, and we should be good. Oh. Well, that, that didn't do anything at all. Oh, there's another bronze song. Woo! Ash gets a move. Giga Drain! Okay, 75 base power. There we go. I think we're looking pretty good for the upcoming fight. I'm just seeing a lot of low kicks. So the Glaciato Gym. Okay, if we can hit Glaciato, that's at least a good point that we can be at. Now that we're actually in a snowy area. Oh, Bergmite! Okay, cool. I mean, at least we're getting some new Pokemon, even if they aren't brand new Pokemon. 
At least they get added to the Pokedex. Ice body? Huh. I may want to switch off of Mirror. Just because he's running very low on Force Palms. Uh, okay. Well, unfortunately we're in a snowy area. I guess we'll have Hunter out. Um, that's another Bergmite. There's a lot of Bergmite down here. Bronzong, Bronzong. Let me just kind of stick to the trail. Uh, then we should be good to eventually make it to the next city. It's a toddle. What is that? Oh, it's a snob. Grievered. Weird that Grievers just kind of appear here in the snowy areas. Sneasel. Snom. Bear tick? Do I want to take on a bear tick? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do want to take on a bear tick. Level 45! Okay, uh, no problem for me. Ooh, Fontaine gets a move. Hurricane. Don't think that's really all that... Oh goodness, Hurricane has a lot more power. I thought Hurricane had crap power. User attacks by rhyming target and fierce wind may also confuse the target. I must be... Oh, you know what? I'm thinking of Twister. That's what I'm thinking of. 110 base power, but it is a special attack. It is a flying type move. Which, you know what? Would get same type attack bonus. And with the base power of 110, certainly make it up. It's the 70 accuracy that makes me very suspicious. Um... Fly would probably be better, if I'm being honest. Um... Uh, do I want to have Bite or do I want to have Hurricane? I think I kind of want to have... <sighs> nah, we'll, we'll have... We'll get rid of Bite for Hurricane. It's definitely a risky play, and I would rather have something like Aerial Ace or Fly. But that's definitely something that we can at least attempt to work with. More Bergmites. Cub Chew. Okay. Um, we're actually kind of making a pretty good beeline on over to where the gym is. Which maybe I should focus more on exploring off the beaten path. But we are also going up a mountain. That's not exactly the easiest thing to do. Uh, but at the very least, if we can hit town, then that's at the at the very least that's a good stopping point because then we basically have a save in progress. There's an electric spot there. I see the city. A bunch of Deerling and Sazba kind of going down the mountain. No, being able to fight Bronzong wouldn't be a bad thing. Oh, Cryogonals. Those are new. Not exactly... Very high level, all things considered. Uh, yeah, let's maybe go with a Shadow Punch instead. It's l wanting to use Slash, which is hilarious. Perfect! Okay. And if we can just... Huh! You know, since town is pretty much right there, 
Um, let's go ahead. We'll have Itsuki out front. So we can get a bit of experience and make sure he hits level 40. Hit the town's Pokemon Center, and then we can take on Great Tusk. Okay, I don't think this is going to be super good. Uh, but let's go ahead. We'll use Silk Trap. Try to lower its speed. <laughs> okay, well, if it's going to use Slam, though... Uh, who would be better suited? You know what? Ash needs more experience. So we'll go with that. Oh, agility! Hmm. Okay, in which case, let's go ahead. We'll use rapid spin. Okay, so now it has stage 3 speed, and I have stage 1, and I am still faster. <laughs> Ooh, Aqua Tail. Granted, that isn't really going to do a whole lot to me. And now it's dead. Alright, cool. Getting a good amount of prize money from this. Okay, well, at the very least, we have made it to town. Um, kind of? I mean, here's the gym. Gym just at the, the forefront of the town? This doesn't even look like a town. Snowscape? I'm sorry, it summons a snowstorm for five turns? How is that different from hail? Um, let's see. Unfortunately, it never tells me what TM it actually is. This boosts the defense stats of ice type, so it's an improved hail. Okay, um... No, I guess it's not Glaciato City, it's just Glaciato. Apparently he's the gym leader of the entire mountain. Okay... <laughs> Trainers! Okay, yeah, it is kind of weird that this isn't actually a town, though. It's literally just a Pokemon Center and a gym. It's not a town. It's not anywhere where there's, like, shopping or anything. It's just literally the mountainside. Well, we at least hit the Pokemon Center, so we got that going for us. Wait, what Pokemon are here? Bergmite, Delibird, Crabominable. Okay. Well, at the very least, we did hit the gym, although we aren't really planning on doing anything with the gym for right now. Instead, let's maybe try our hand at Great Tusk again. All right. So now that my Pokemon are all at least level 40, Fontaine's still a bit too high, and probably going forward, I should maybe decide to put Fontaine away. That way everyone else can catch up. Um, but... Let's see, who would be decent to try to do this? Let's maybe have Hunter lead. I have Lorena around. 
Lorena would be pretty good in order to... Uh, you know, Lorena is good because it has a water type move and it seems as though Great Tusk is very much allergic to water type moves. Who would have thought with a ground type? But still, uh, let's maybe see if we can't try to do this. We got our butts handed to us last time. It was only thanks to Fontaine that we were able to actually do anything. It actually looks like it's already pretty much where it's going to be. So this won't actually be any difficult at all. With a little girl right there. <laughs> Destro, looks like you found yourself a Titan! Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan? Uh... It, is that thing even a Pokemon? He must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Time to show that thing what you and me can do, Destro. His Pokemon is a Skullvalian, level 44! Okay, um, that very much complicates matters a little bit. In terms of what level I should be. Thankfully, I think even though we're a little bit under-leveled compared to uh, Arvin, I think we'll still be fine. I'm gonna use the Skovalian and caught nearby to seize a real spicy victory. This is gonna burn. Oh, that did a lot. That barely did anything. Okay. Um, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and switch on over to Ash. Because I think Great Tusk just has a crap ton of physical defense. Oh, really? Stomping Tantrum? Ugh. I don't know why it zoomed in, too. Okay! That did a good. That, that, that did a good. That did a good amount of damage. And it almost fully healed me. I... I honestly can't move the camera anymore. I'm not sure why it zoomed in and now I can't zoom back out. And there goes Scovillian. Uh, well, I guess I'm on my own. Um... This could be a bit of a problem, but... Of damage. Okay, that also did a great amount of damage, but thankfully I'm now faster. Or maybe Ash was always faster. I don't know, but down goes Great Tusk. Not too bad once I'm actually level appropriate. It's going, little buddy. What even was that thing, though? I kind of feel like maybe I'd seen it before somewhere. 
I mean, have you seen Dawn Fan before? Anyway, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of that herb a mystica I was eating. Let's give the place a once-over before that thing decides to come back. Come out, come out, wherever you are! Yes! Found it! Here's our little herb. What is that flickering? What is that flickering? What's happening to my arm? What is happening to my arm? That is not normal. What? Why is my arm disappearing? Anyway, we got the sour herb of Mystica. Let's maybe, let's maybe get rid of that. <laughs> this shape, this sheen. Oh, it looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's gotta be good for you. Now then, let's see, what does the book have to say? Okay, uh, Sour Herba Mystica is chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. It says here it works wonders whether you're tired physically or mentally. Yeah, it perks, perks you right up. No time to waste, let's get some food going. Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus a token of our friendship, here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon it in awe as you eat. What is the, the stuff that's just kind of coming off of it? As is tradition. Here you go, Karaidon. Come on out, my boss diff. Food's up! <laughs> Would you look at that? Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. Here you go, boy. Right on, can glide? Yo, we can fly! Seems like that fellow's also slowly regaining its original strength. Still, it doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. Seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form. Wait, a mental block? I've read about it in books before. A mental scar. Like, psychological trauma, you know? I think that's what you call it. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all? Ah, uh, well, don't worry. I'm sure both that brute and Mabostiff will make a full recovery eventually. So how you feel, Mabostiff? How's that Herba Mystica working? Uh, 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 no pressure! Uh, not like it's fair to expect every kind of Herba Mystica to have some huge effect, right? And it's not like the effect has to be immediate, either. Hey, it's okay, don't worry. Destro and I are gonna make sure you're right as rain. We've got one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best of them all. It, it's just gotta be. All right, Destro. The next stop on our little herb hunt should be the last. But we can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep up the momentum. Here we go! Huh. 
Hello, Destro. This is Sada. I detect that Koridon has regained more of its original power. After it has jumped in the air, you should be able to, You should try pressing the B button again. It should glide now. Yo. You must continue helping Koridon recover. Let's test this baby out! Okay, so it isn't true flying. It is literally a glide. It just reminds me of... I mean, it's a little bit of... Hmm. Like Braviary was in Legends Arceus, except it seems like Koridon goes... loses elevation a lot faster. What the... Oh, it's an Orthworm. Seems like Koridon loses elevation a lot faster than uh, Braviary did. Um, regular Sand Dial? Regular Sand Dial. I like it's really worth taking on. And I don't even think the trainer is really worth taking on, but you know what? Oh, it's a little boy. I thought that was hair from a distance. Instead, he's just wearing a nice little hat. My bad. Anyway, he has a Bweasel. That Bweasel's gonna get wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Okay. So that just leaves one more Titan to take on. It's the dragon one, too. So I'm wondering what exactly the best way to tackle it would be. That's a lot of sand dial. I mean, the best way that I could maybe think of would be maybe around level 50. I think 50 would probably be a decent level, especially since we're going to be going after the Dragon Titan. Uh, Dragon Titan, I think, would be best suited to, you know, be the highest level. I mean, Arvin's Pokemon were level 45. So that is quite a leap. Oh, Baton Pass. Not exactly the worst thing in the world, mind you. Uh, let's see, should we try to take on a dent? I'm actually kind of curious if I can maybe reach... That seems way too far for me to potentially reach. Fire Hooper. Um, you know what? Why the heck not? First time trying to take on a den by myself. Shouldn't really be too difficult. Especially since it said it was a one star. So... Oh, hey, rules. Uh, you'll try to defeat Terra Pokemon in a time limit, blah, 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 blah. You'll take a time penalty. You can also do cheers, which is something we didn't actually get to show off. Uh, Aqua Tail. Oh, what? It has water absorb? Wow, okay. Uh, that is actually... It's actually quite effective. Okay, uh, no reason to actually try to catch it, though. Um, unfortunately, yeah. I get some experience candy. Uh, lots of experience candy. But no Terra Shards. I might have to take on higher level ones to get the Terra Shards there. Oh, and it just straight up disappears! Huh. I don't recall that happening before. It might have, and I just forgot. Okay, um, I think we're probably good to call it a day. Um, 
let's maybe see. I mean, we can definitely reach some of these places. Question is, is there anything on any of these places? There's a gimme ghoul. Uh, what level? It's not showing. Well, what are level the bombardiers? Bombardiers are level 34. We got Weasel and Kilowattrol. Kilowattrol and its freaking wingspan. Oh, and I know it's Roost. Really? Freaking really? Dual wing beat? Huh. Loretta! Okay, well this is clearly not working. It's also a bad idea to switch out because it's a flying type. So if I wish, if I miss one more dragon rush, I'm running. This move has an accuracy of how much? Okay, that, that makes a little bit more sense. Okay, seriously? This is getting stupid. This is getting stupid! Thank you. Grab that. What the? What I? Where did you come from? That wasn't even a kilowattro right in front of me. Come on, there's a TM there. I wanted to just check around. Come on, I should be able to cheese my way up here. There we go. Phantom Force. And... Yeah, I can probably take on the Gimme Ghoul, and then we can call it a day. Uh, level 25. Okay, so not a problem at all. Alright, I think the last thing we'll do is we'll check out the auction and see if there's anything interesting there. And then we'll go ahead and call it a day. 60 Gimme Ghoul coins! Dang, okay. I mean, if I really wanted to... If I really wanted to basically grind out Gimme Ghoul coins, I should probably be taking on the chest forms. Oh, hold on, what? Screlpy? Huh. Oh no, Screlp. Not Screlpy. Well, your new Pokemon to add to the Pokedex. I mean, at the very least, like, getting new families of Pokemon do help in determining maybe certain TMs that I have. There's still plenty of TMs in which there's some sort of question mark portion. Okay. So now that we're back in Porto Marinada... Let's go ahead, we'll get back to where is... There it is. Okay. So what is here at the auction house today? We have fresh waters, ultra balls, and herb sausages. 49 herb sausages up for auction. You know what? Sure. I've got plenty of money. I'm going up against literal children. Start at 78. 83. 88. Pass for now. Hmm. Man, these children are really going after it. 
Man, these children are really going after it. Okay. So that's 15,000 Poké Dollars. Now, is that just a sandwich ingredient? Herb sausage, yes. And I have a lot of them now. <laughs> uh, I really should do the sandwiches. All right, what about the fresh waters? 46 fresh waters. That is actually, that's actually a really good deal. Hold on, they can go up by 2,000? How come I can only go up by one? Oh, okay, well that actually worked out. Cool. Okay. So that was nice, and a good use of some of my money. But I think we're going to go ahead and call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. We are actually kind of spoiled for choice. Um, because we have two gym leaders that we have access to. So, our options are to either head on over to Alfornada to take on Tulip. So we have that at our disposal. And we also have Grusha at Glaciato. I'm gonna hold off on trying to do the Dragon uh, Titan until around level 50, because I think that seems like a pretty good indication. Uh, there's trying to get to both of these two, which seem to be very far out of the way. Granted, I think if I'm up at the mountainside, I could probably reach Airy. Um, yeah, but the problem with between Airy and Ortega is like it says the second strongest of the Team Star bosses. And Airy just says that she's really strong. So I don't know if Ortega really is second to Airy or second to Big Boss. So I'm not entirely sure. Uh, the only thing that I really know for sure is that we have options. We definitely have options. And I'm going to have to decide what exactly we're going to do in between episodes. So until next time, everyone, take care. <laughs>